It's been a long day of clipping coupons. Look like looks like there's a sale on boxed brownie mix. Hmm, that reminds me. I wonder what Joseph's up to. I should see if he wants to hang out. Or if he wants to go to the store with me and use these coupons. Looks like he's online. That's such like oh, I got so many good coupons. I know. Look, I better I call Joseph. <laughs> Yeah, let's see if he wants to go to the store and use these coupons. Um, but for real... Is he a Midwestern brought, mom? Hold on. But for real, I came over and brought you a coupon for ice cream. So... Is are you trying to date me? Is no, that what you're I'm saying, saying <laughs> that like when you, I feel like when people like people are like, oh, like this thing reminds me of my friend. Like I bet they would like it, you know? Oh yeah, because the brownie mix. Yeah, that's good writing. That's why they're yeah. Hey Joseph, wanna hang? It takes a moment for Joseph to respond. Todd, hope you finally recovered from your brownie-induced coma. And I know I promised you a fun hang, but <laughs> fun hang. But tonight I'm actually chaperoning a root youth group mixer. Amanda's invited, of course. If you're not doing anything, you should come. Oh, that sounds nice. And be a chaperone with me because I need the help. Less nice. I think for a moment. I'm a little bummed out, of course. I suppose I just wanted some me and Joseph time. Maybe to get to know him a little better. Ah, uh, what the heck. My friend needs my help. I type back. Buddy, if you need me, you got me. Just tell me where I need to be tonight. Joseph lets me know the details. It starts pretty soon. I should get ready. I wish we could change our outfit. I knock on Amanda's door and peek in. Like a formal outfit and a casual outfit? No, like I just wish we could be like, oh, like I'm going out on a date. So I'm going to put on like date clothes. <sighs> That'd be great. You know? Zero out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Amanda, I'm about to head out. Yes. Where are you off to? Are you going to go extreme couponing? Uh -huh. I'm actually going to go chaperone this youth mixer dance thing that's happening at Joseph's church. He says you're invited, but if you don't want to come, I'll cover for you. Have you ever watched Extreme Couponers? No. It's amazing. <laughs> it's the best show. They get like $1,000 worth of food, and then they and then the grocery store has to give them money with, because of their coupons. I don't understand how that's possible. I, but well, they have like entire like binders filled with coupons and they have like a plan and like like which order they're going to scan the food in and like oh all these gosh. calculations oh. hmm you know what i'm down maybe i can make some new friends that's a good attitude but i'll have you know that i'm mostly doing this for for the potential of free food thank you amanda you got four daughter points today mm. can i trade them in for a daughter lava pet lamp Sorry, you only have enough for a daughter spider ring or some of those daughter plastic jumpy frogs. Oh my gosh. I like those things. When I was a kid, I my orthodontist office where I got my braces, when you would come in for appointments, depending on what they would do to you, they would give you these like wooden nickels that you could save up and like trade in for prizes. <laughs> what they would do to you? This well, seems so no, like basic, so like if they were tightening your braces, for instance, which really hurts, you would get more wooden nickels than if you were just coming in to get them cleaned. Me personally, I loved having my braces tightened, but I know that you had more intense braces than I did. Yes, I had more intense braces <laughs> than most people. <laughs> well, and then why didn't they just pull out? Wait. Yeah, why didn't they just pull out your baby teeth? Um, Stacy's adult teeth and baby teeth came in at the... Like, they didn't go away. I was so like a shark. Yeah, so they were actually... She's a... They wanted to know if she was an escaped human shark <laughs> hybrid from a secret government thing, but really yeah. she just... Yeah. So uh, anyway, a group of her friends fought the government, and she made. <laughs> and I was crossed with shark DNA. Yeah. So now so I have like, like all these extra teeth. When you were little, like a group of friends found you, and then they pretended that like you were normal, and so and hid you from the government because the government the wanted thing. you for their secret super soldier program. Is that surprise? Like my baby teeth didn't fall out. Mm -hmm. I had to have nine of them pulled. Because they literally just, like, weren't coming out. 
Mm-hmm. And so, like, at first, like, usually they don't pull your, ba- your baby teeth because they don't have to. So they're just kind of like, oh, we'll just, like, let them fall out in their own time. Except that mine didn't. And so, finally, I had to go to the do- dentist's office, get nine teeth pulled at the same time. So- Did they fully numb you up? Or- yeah. They should have put you to sleep. But, I mean, like, you still couldn't eat for, like, weeks afterwards. Because there were holes in your face? Yeah. So... Jerks. It was pretty horrible. They try their hardest. It's inspirational. Mm. We arrive at the church to find that no. <laughs> Look at the banner. Oh my god! <laughs> Nobody's there. There are decorations and balloons and banners and everything, but no youths. <laughs> Did this place get trashed or something? I don't know. Hmm. hmm. I've been to a couple dances in my life. And not that I want to paint myself as some sort of dance expert, but generally dances require people. (laughs) And those people need to be dancing. All of a sudden, Joseph jogs up to us. He looks frazzled. All the kids are in the basement, and they were making out and drinking um, the wine from the church that they stole. And now (laughs) they're all in trouble. And now now he's like, what do I do with all these drunk kids? Yeah, because he was like, where are all the kids? Goes down to the basement. They're all in the basement with three bottles of wine that they stole oh, from the church. Oh, my church. God. And after they finished one of the bottles, they were playing spin the bottle with it. <gasps> because they're, you know. Because they're kids. Lips touching. They're going to get pregnant. <laughs> You're here. I need your help. Joseph gestures to the hand-painted banner hanging above the church door. It reads, Jesus is coming. Okay. Yikes. Ah. Well, that's certainly a thing. God made all things, Amanda. Except for the banner. Ernest made that. <laughs> I I genuinely can't tell if he meant that maliciously or if he just can't spell good. You know what God also does? Forgives. He forgives teenagers and he never, ever breaks their box mods. What? What's a box mod? I don't know. <laughs> Are you going to break Ernest's box mod? No, Amanda. That would be a sin. I think it's the one right after the sloth. Todd, I need your help getting this down before anyone sees it. I can swing that. Amanda, can you help? Mm. Physical labor, huh? Mm. Oh, a box mod? is It's a vape. Ew. Wait, what? Why is, why is Ernest, is it Ernest, I guess it's better than having regular cigarettes. Is it, is it like acceptable for teens to vape? I mean, if they're over 18, it's like the same thing as, I don't know. No, I meant like, I, but I, th- I is think... it seen as like acceptable to adults now that I, teens vape? As I long as there's no, like. I, I feel like that was meant more as like a joke. Oh. I don't think he literally meant, like, we can't touch their vapes or they'll be upset. <laughs> I think he meant, like, and you never touch their vapes, rolls eyes. Yeah, but even then, like, rolls eyes, it, is it socially acceptable for teens to be using vapes if there's no nicotine or whatever? I I really don't know what, like, the laws are with All that. All right, <laughs> the laws. Well, what no, I mean, like, laws? there's... No, there's the laws with cigarettes. I don't know... If what the laws are with a vape, I have to go set up the food. I would assume that if you're under 18, like in the US, that if you're under 18, you cannot purchase because it's nicotine, and I would assume that they control it the same way they would with cigarettes. But most, a lot of vape juices don't have nicotine in them. I know. Oh, okay. The food's all right. The food's already set up. I'm going to do that final inspection on, pass on the food to make sure it's up to the code. Uh, I'm going to eat your food. Amanda's able to bolt away before myself or Joseph can get another word in. Oh. Whew. She can really book it when she wants to. Her father was a giant pair of legs. Oh. I dated some giant arms once, but it turned out they were all right. Dorks! You must have been devastated. Oh. It was... Armageddon. Oh. <laughs> no, it's. I get it. I'll workshop it. There's a gem in there somewhere. <laughs> I'm really glad you're here, Todd. 
Are you enjoying my company, or did you just lure me out of here for my strong arms and height advantage? A little of both. It's always something with you, Joseph. Something handsome and pious. Pious. Yeah, pious. You're not that pious. Debatable. You just alluded to breaking a child's vape pen. Oh. I would have lost the debate. Uh. You ready to do this? Let's make some magic happen. Yeah. Magic isn't real, Todd. God said that. <laughs> oh my God. Isn't God magic? <laughs> God was also a bush one time. True. Joseph and I grab a stepladder and walk over to Ernest's banner. That turd Ernest had one final trick up his sleeve. Looks like this nightmare is stapled and taped six ways from Sunday. Any ideas? Oh, what happened Did to your- Did you just hear him say, ooh, crackers? <laughs> so what happened to your strong arms and height advantage? Ah, right. I forgot about those. But I realize my oversized dad fingers are far too large to get leverage on the tiny staples. What I would- you just grab a pair of scissors. Because they want to get all of it off, not just leave the staples Well, but I'm off. saying, like, this is clearly an emergency situation. You cut the banner down for now so that nobody gets to read, Jesus is coming. And you get deal with the staples later when you have the tools to do it. Ah. You got a hammer I can use to pry these off? Pod, this is a church. We get a little nervous around hammers. And nails. Uh, I'm kidding, we just don't have a hammer. We have to hurry. The youths will be here any moment. They'll never hear the end of it if we don't fix this. Wait, I have an idea. I run to grab the marker that Ernest used to draw this thing and jump back onto the ladder. Or you could just make it an O. Combing. Yeah. Yeah, why don't you just put it in? We can't get it down, but we can send a different message. Ah, there we go. I only got one shot here. Let's do this right. It's calming. <laughs> it's calming, yeah. <laughs> I'm able to turn the U into an A and an L somehow. It's a little tight, but it works. Oh, oh yeah, we got the squirt. Yeah. Well, that's true, I guess. Bask in his calming presence, Joseph. Relax. Crisis averted. Let's just hope the youth don't. They're gonna notice. They're gonna know. <laughs> Because Ernest is going to tell. Well, Ernest is going to tell everybody, as he should. Joseph checks his watch. Hmm. The DJ should be here by now. <gasps> Are we going to have... Oh, wow. Just then, the doors swing open, and a man struts in with his DJing equipment. Look at those socks. Wait, you're not the usual guy. What happened to Evan? Evan knew exactly when to play the Cupid Shuffle. Hey, hey, I'm not Evan. Evan sold all his DJ equipment to backpack through Europe, so I'm filling in for him. Spin Master Quinn. So I do envy him, though. What I would give to drop everything and start over. Ha <laughs> ha! Are you alright? Alright! I'm better than alright! I'm DJ Spin Master Quinn! He sighs heavily. I usually do trivia nights, but I moonlight on the ones that and choose to give myself a sense of purpose in life. Is he okay? Well, you'll have to do. You have a playlist of fun songs that youth will like that don't won't inspire impure thoughts or tempt them to the dark side, right? <laughs> the DJ thinks for a moment. Right. Believe me, buddy, I got what you need. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I wonder if we're gonna have to step in and be DJ Todd. Yeah, because he's being crazy. Mm-hmm. Right. Nope, you can't complain anymore because now you know the difficulties of being. No, it's not difficulties. You're just really wiggly. I know that I am wiggly. I, I'm a. We wiggly... need to get a separate thing. For, we need to get a boom for this mic. So I that... know that, Stacy. You think I don't know that? I want one of the ones that we're like, you know, you see like Dre Guest and stuff. He's like flipping his thing around. Anyway. <laughs> Okay, great. I'll get you st get started. Can you turn off your notification things? Settings? Where? Right at the bottom. Turn off all those notifications in the middle. Where? Right in the middle. See display notif- Nope. That one too. 
that one. The DJ leaves. Oh. Let's keep an eye on this one. He sounded like he was just going to play Creep by Radiohead on repeat. After some time, the kids from the community start filing into the dance hall. Some of them seem to notice our sign hack, but they don't seem to care. Most of the kids group off into tiny clusters, standing in circles and casting sideways glances at the- And casting sideways glances at the other groups of teens. Man, I do not miss being a teenager at social functions. Hey, hey, party people! Everyone in the room turns their attention to the DJ. DJ Spin Master Quinn coming at you with the sound that people want. We're off to a good start. This next tune goes out to all the ladies in the audience. Ladies, let me hear you say, yeah! A few half-hearted yeahs echo through the crowd. Yeah! All right. He sighs again. Um, Ben, it's been a heavy couple days. Uh-oh. This next one is actually just for my wife, Sandra. I hope we can work things out. My little honeysuckle vine. Now, the DJ begins creep? playing Creep by Radio. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a man I'm a creep. I'm a weirdo. I don't need it. So that actually, I kind of love that song. Yeah, because, because it's relatable. Yeah. I am a creep. I am a weirdo. I don't belong here. God, I wonder if anybody else in the world... I think we're the only two who relates to this song. <laughs> in the whole world. We're the only ones. They relate to Creep by Radiohead. Yeah. Everyone else is a poser. <laughs> but I also just like how it can be used so ironically, you know, in situations <laughs> like this. Amanda sidles up to me, pizza in one hand and punch in the other. Creep, huh? Bold choice for a youth group. Let's see where he goes with this. After the song finishes, he plays Creep again. Is the DJ crying? <laughs> <laughs> I hope he doesn't play Creep over and over. Shit. <laughs> if you watch the kids really closely, you can catch them cringing every time Thom York swears. <laughs> there they go. Maybe we should do something about this. Joseph runs up to us. He's killing the vibe, listening to swears. Sad swears! We have to do something. You guys should try to give him a pep talk. Maybe work him up to Everybody Hurts by R.E.M. <laughs> or at least, very least, No Rain by Blind Melon. Uh, you know the, you know Everybody Hurts, right? Everybody Hurts! Sometimes... Everybody cries. <laughs> it's okay that I'm crying. Everybody does it. It's normal. Everybody cries and poops. You want to help us cheer him up? Uh, actually, I just saw my friend, uh, Fred Frederick. Frederico! Frederico. He's from Latin. I didn't know you were taking a Latin class. I'm not. So he's from the country, Latin? Oh. Yes, it exists. Don't Google it. You can go, Amanda. It's fun. And she's gone. Joseph and I are make our way to the DJ booth where Spin Master Quinn is having a quiet cry. Hey, bud. Hey, hey, hey my dudes. How's the party jamming? <laughs> it's, uh, not. Oh, I'm sorry, fellas. Just taking a moment to find my groove. Gotta play the sad tunes to probably appreciate the bangers, right? Um, no, we're not saying that. This is why I'm saying you shouldn't let me do it. I know. Um, that's not how. That's DJ not how DJing works. Now, stop me if I'm out of line here, since I've never been a DJ and don't have any current plans to become one. But I don't think that's how it works. The kids came out here to have a good time. You gotta cool it on the sadness. That was a lot of squirts. Hey, buddy, if it's problems you're having with... Hey. Joseph leans in close to me. What was his wife's name again? Sandra. No, I... Okay. If you're having problems with Sandra, I cannot be too. I do counseling. 
It's my job here, and I'm very good at it. Right. Oh, I don't know. I can tell you're hurting. Nobody voluntarily listens to that much Radiohead on repeat, unless they're really going through some tough times. <laughs> Trust me, I know. <laughs> Joseph places a hand on Spinmaster Quinn's shoulder, who immediately collapses into Joseph's embrace, crying quietly. There, there, bud. It's gonna be okay. Th thank you, I'll... I'll put on some dance hall anthems. You're the best, Spin Master Quinn. With yet another crisis averted, Joseph and I return to the dance floor where Amanda's waiting with an ice cream cone. Yeah. They have ice cream here. Good work, Amanda. How's it looking out there? Well, for dance, there's a whole lot of dancing. Huh? Not there's a not a whole lot of dancing. Looks like people are starting to bail, though. This is a disaster. Hey. Don't be so hard on yourself. This is ice cream? Top notch. <laughs> I'm sorry for dragging you into this, Todd. You and Amanda should just go home. I'm not going to make you stay here for the train wreck. It's not a disaster. We can still fix this. We can... I suddenly realize what we have to do. Amanda, get out of here. I don't think you're going to want to be here for this. Or be seen with me after this. <gasps> oh god, you're not going to. I throw my car keys to Amanda. I'll get a ride back with Joseph. Just remember me as I am right now, not as what I'm about to become. Mm. Amanda nods. Seriously? Like, yeah. I understand. Go, that. Amanda. Nice knowing you, Pops. <laughs> she runs out the door. Joseph, I'm going to turn it up on the dance floor. With luck, we can get these youths into it as well. I like how it keeps calling them youths. I do, too. Are you in or out? Joseph stares at me. He knows what has to be done as much as I do. See you on the other side. See you on the other side. Joseph and I walk out onto the dance floor in the middle of the room. The youths all stare at us, unsure of what we're doing. Um, Time to get our groove I'm on. I'm already imagining these dad dance moves. Oh, yes. So, actually, I was... Oh, wait, I kind of feel like... All right, let's guess. I feel like Todd's going to actually, like, do some dad dance moves, but then drop some fucking ace 90s moves, you know? So, I was picturing them actually going back and forth. Like, one person does, like, the salt and pepper shaker. The other person does, like, the sprinkler. Another person's it's doing the lawnmower. It's a dance-off, but dad dancing. And then they're, like, rolling the dice, rolling the dice, rolling the dice, you know? Yeah, it's, it'll be a dad dance-off. Uh, when I was at the Renaissance Fair yesterday, actually, one of the acts that we saw was these pirates. And as part of their act, they did, like, a musical dance-off. But it was, like... It's it, it's kind of hard to explain without going like really far into it, but basically they did. Basically, a, you went to a Renaissance fair. That's all we need to know. Yeah, that's pretty much all. You need to know. <laughs> um, that was like only part of it, but they were doing all these like super dorky dance moves, and it was like really funny. So that's what I'm picturing them doing right now. I bet you Joseph is gonna bust out some super freaky moves. He's gonna you, get on I, all fours and torque. That's what you <laughs> think is gonna happen, or that's what you hope is going to happen. Both. <laughs> Let's start them off easy and work our way up to the more technical stuff. If he gets on all fours and starts twerking, my oh my god, is... maybe they could even like do the thriller dance. <gasps> that would actually be really cool. Roll oh, the what dice! did I tell you? <laughs> the lawnmower, roll the dice, the worm, pull out the classic handshake and dice throw to the music. I'm a little off beat, which is to be expected of any dad, but I think it's a nice baseline to work from. Joseph follows along. I'll follows along, bopping his head to the beat. But like a dad. We're both dancing right now, by the way. Yeah, we're both bobbing our heads. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Simple, but smart. That's good. I look around. Well, it looks like we've got everyone's attention. All right, Todd. Let's turn up the heat. Uh, running man. Since time immemorial, this move has never let me down. I start jogging in place, matching the movements with my arms, pushing out. This seems to awaken something in Joseph, who feels the fire of the running man deep within him. Look, he's covered, he's touching I his know, chest. I know, he's like, oh, Todd! I feel it. <laughs> I feel I the dance. I look around to the youths. They're getting into it. Nice work, but we'd better pick it up, or they'll lose interest quick. Ooh, the windmill uh, feels like... Cabbage patch. Hold on, I don't know what all of these are. So, <laughs> we're too old, young. 
Um, I mean, I think the windmill seems good. Which one is the windmill? I don't know. I'm gonna click it while you look these up. Wait, what am I? What are you doing? I'm just googling the windmill dance. Oh my god! So the windmill is like the handstand thing where you windmill your oh, it's windmill break around. dancing. Yeah. So hold on, don't touch anything yet, though. What's the cabbage patch? Because the windmill seems a little advanced. Wait a second. That's literally what I just said. He, he does do, and then he does break dance. I'm gonna break dance. Hold on. The okay, the hammer slide dance is like MC Hammer. So I don't th think oh, we want that. Oh fuck yeah, that's dope. Yeah, oh yeah, that's the one where he like skitters like back and yeah, forth, you know? Yeah, it's hammer time! Okay, and then there's the Cabbage Patch Dance, which is, um, it's a lot of like, hands and fists and stuff. Okay, I so... want the windmill. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> I've seen breakdancers do this, so it shouldn't, oh shit. So it shouldn't be too hard. I drop to the floor and try to spin my legs around. <laughs> I am sure this does not look appealing. That doesn't look appealing. <laughs> I look around to the youths. They are not appealed. They're not looking too lively yet, but we can still turn it around. Moonwalk? Moonwalk. I start sliding my feet backwards. I can't tell if this looks good or not, but I have... But I think these kids have seen enough people doing moonwalks that they understand the general concept. <laughs> Joseph makes a moonwalk attempt as well. Surprisingly, dude pulls it off flawlessly. I look around to the youths. They're cheering! Alright, time for the big finish. Death drop. <laughs> what is a death drop? I don't- I wait, I think that's when, like, they, like, drop and they drop into the splits. Oh god, all of these things sound really... dangerous? I was thinking Dirty Dancing. Hold on. Ah, the time of my life. And I only something something. And mm -hmm, don't know the rest I of the words. Should... This movie's about oh, fucking yeah, so, a 15 year old. So the thing, the thing about a death drop is that... Um... Oh, that's a wrestling move. Oh, wait, no. That's so a dance it's... move. Yeah, it's a dance move. It looks dangerous. So... Okay, so that's like, like the dance move that I see a lot of like drag queens pull off. That's the di that's the drag queen dance move. I think I don't know that if I don't Okay, first of all, I don't think we should do an unrehearsed backflip. I, I think Joseph and I should do dirty dancing while we sing a song that we don't know the words to. I don't to. know that if he's I don't know if he's going to like that though. If I think he is. If he wants to be lifted. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I push you <laughs> and in motion that I'm about to lift him up. Are, are you strong enough to do that? No. I don't know. Without regard for human safety, I summon all my might and lift Joseph above my head. It isn't quite dirty dancing, but Joseph is a good sport and spreads his arms while I spin him in a circle. Are you imagining what I'm imagining? Yes, and it's amazing. <laughs> Because two dads going full on so dirty dancing and here's, of here's kids. the thing is that like okay so when I imagine these things happening I don't imagine it as like our character I imagine it as like actual Todd I know it's amazing <laughs> lifting up <laughs> <laughs> I imagine it as like actually our friend Todd <laughs> lifting up Joseph on the dance floor twirling him around in a circle it's funny because Todd's going, the most wholesome I person I know. The time of my life, and I owe it all to you. I look at the crowd; they seem to love it. Somewhat obligingly, the kids take to the take the dance floor and start to move around. But before before long, they're starting to laugh and enjoy themselves. It was dicey, but we've done our jobs. Good. That was a good move. Come on. The rest of the chaperones will take it from here. Well, what were they doing? Well, I mean, we can't top the dirty dancing move. What? Yeah, but they didn't help us with the the sash or anything. No, they're saying that. Oh, I have something to show you. <laughs> Joseph leads me out of the main room and down various darkened corridors of the church. I can barely see anything, and I find myself tripping over my own feet. Joseph, I think I lost you. His hand finds mine in the darkness. I'm right here. <laughs> I'm glad he can't see me blush. We keep walking. He's married. I don't know how I feel about this. I know. We've talked about this before where it's just like, 
Where yeah. are we? This church is huge. Even if he's in the closet or bisexual, I just don't feel it. It's not no, cool. No, like, well, this has nothing to do with sexuality. This has everything to do with he's supposedly in a committed relationship right now. Well, no, here's the thing. We don't know what the status is. Yeah, we don't know what the situation is. Like, so they could be in an open marriage. We don't know. But until there's clarification, it just, you know. Yeah. I feel like Mary's not as big of a bee as we think she is, and that there's just, you know, their their marriage is, is their own. We're almost there. Yeah, so I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to have judgments that, like, people can't have, like... Whoa, 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 whoa! Hold on. I actually have to admit that I was a little dishonest with you. I didn't just invite you out here to help me chaperone. Oh, no. What happened to lying being one of the ten things you're not supposed to do? <laughs> Huh? Todd. Todd. Oh, Todd. I think there's an exception for when you're trying to surprise a friend. Joseph closes the door behind us. I guess we're in a random room in the depths of this church now. What could he possibly have planned? So, last time we talked about escaping to an island where we could live out an easy, tropical lifestyle, where our only worry is trying to find that lost shaker of salt. Since we can't actually do that. I figured I could bring a little bit of the tropics to Maple Bay. It's not quite Margaritaville, but something like it. Joseph throws on the lights. Sex Dungeon or Margaritaville? Margaritaville. Aww. Aww. You said aww like it was cute and I went aww like disappointed. Well, but it, it but you know why it's cute? It's cute. Because it's dorbs, it is. Yeah. It's cute because it's like it's dorky and it's like so them what's you know? it mean when a jesus cross has a circle and two lines on it see right here you know what i'm talking about right here yeah i don't know what that is secret mysteries secret mysteries i bet that's part of the secret cult ending that's not canonical welcome to the margarita zone <laughs> i look around as my eyes adjust to the light it's his office but there are twinkle lights strung across the walls, little garlands of fake flowers, and two beach chairs set up in front of the desk. There is a blender and two glasses sitting on the table. Ukulele music plays softly in the background. Joseph, this is... This is amazing. There's no pops tops to step on here, buddy. You did this for me? Joseph takes a seat and gestures for me to do the same. Maybe this is just like friendship. I can't tell if he's trying to seduce us or if this is just good friendship. I did this for us. I think we've both earned it. So, I feel like, I feel like obviously since this is a dating game, we're reading a lot of it as like flirting and romance. But I feel like if this, if it's these things were written and you weren't under the auspices of like, oh, they're going to date... You, you think these are you friends. Think the, you think the, this was a friendship thing. Gay or not. Yeah. Yeah. Gay dudes can be friends, you know. Yeah. But not saying that guys can be, not just, I'm not just saying, you know, dudes being bros or whatever. Yeah. I just like, I wish that, it's hard for me to enjoy this knowing that he's married and I don't know the situation. However, hmm. however, the reason that it's hard for you to enjoy it is not because you don't know about the marriage situation. It's because you want to read it as romance, and then you feel bad because he's married. Yes, that's you, what I mean. If you were just looking at it and thinking like, oh, they're friends, then it's perfectly enjoyable and there's nothing to feel bad about. Do you true, know? true. It's just that we are, we are playing a dating game, so I don't know what so it we're, is we're trying to do. So we're coming into it with the expectation of romance. <gasps> oh my god! What? We're coming into the situation with the expectation of romance when we shouldn't. <gasps> oh my god, is this game gonna gonna fuckboy shame us? I don't, Are we the fuckboys? I don't think <laughs> I don't know if the, the game is purposely trying to make that point, but that is literally Stacy. Are, Are we, we the, the fuckboys? Fuck boys? <laughs> Are I, we the fuckboy? I think we're the fuckboy. Oh no! Is this what it feels like? Because this is like where you're like, oh, like, what the heck? Like, I want to date this person and they're not being clear with me. And the other person's just like, I just wanted to be friends. Why? What are you I'm, doing? I'm married and I'm a youth minister and I was doing a nice thing for you. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? I did oh, a nice thing for you because wow. you said you wanted something and I thought it was nice. And I thought it'd be nice and you're my friend. You jerk. Yeah. Okay. 
I settle in while Joseph pours us both margaritas. You really went all out. I don't want us to interpret this as a, us trying to make a gay relationship straight. It's just that we don't know how to feel because he's married. You know? We don't know what his situation is or anything. But... Yeah, I mean, we don't even know what... Yeah, we don't really know what the, the situation is at all. So we're just trying to not make assumptions. And I think this has nothing to do with us trying to make a gay relationship straight. It's more just not trying to put... Expectations uh, sec on... Sexual expectations on a situation... When it's not appropriate. This feels not appropriate, but it's like I'm it's like so confusing. I have a flair for the dramatic. You can't lead the community if you don't know how to make a good margarita. Don't get me wrong. I want this to be flirting, but the marriage thing really throws me off. I yeah. take a sip of mine. This is a killer margarita. I would follow this man. Do you think the dance is going to be okay without our sick dance moves? No. Not here. You're missing the point of Margarita Zone. Margarita Zone is a place of rest and relaxation. It's the place where you can go kick your feet up and forget about your worries for a while. See, Stacy, that's what I said. Tonight you need to go to the Margarita Zone, but without alcohol. <laughs> I do, I do like, you know, blended drinks, but without the alcohol. Why don't you make that for yourself tonight? I don't know. Are you gonna do something for yourself tonight or not? Yeah. You better not do any homework. I have to. Whatever. Mari's mad at me because I don't know how to relax. I know. She's like, I did relax. I did work. And I'm like, no, that's not relaxing. Um. Watch out for blown out flip flops. I hate I, it. I hate it when my flip flops get blown out. Don't you hate that shit? I feel like, well, but I feel like these are Jimmy Buffett quotes, but I don't, I'm not familiar with them, so. It's a real fear. Thankfully, no heels will get cut in my version of Margarita Zone. Joseph gestures to the makeshift island bar he's made. You know, it's funny. This reminds me so much of when I was younger. I've been meaning to ask, what did you do before you started preaching? It's uninteresting. I left home young and got into a lot of trouble. Ain't that the way? What kind of trouble? Trouble meant I got to go wherever I wanted, whenever I wanted. I hitchhiked around the country, went on adventures, met all kinds of people. Did some stuff I'm not too proud of. But I was young and in love and I didn't have to answer to anybody. And now, I host fundraisers, cars, fundraiser car washes and take the kids to soccer practice on the weekends. Oh, maybe he was with Mary then and he got boring and she's bored now. Yeah, that's possible. He got boring. He settled down. Yeah. Whatever, same thing. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to get heavy here. It's okay. It seems like you spend a lot of time taking care of others, but not enough time taking care of yourself. Here's the thing, though, is that it's not that he got boring. He's the responsible one that takes care of the kids, and she doesn't. Maybe she does. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> Where's the baby? <laughs> I'm just, I don't know. I'm just saying that, like, it's not cool for one person in a child, like, relationship to be like, oh, like, you're so boring, you never do fun stuff anymore, and it's like, well, you also never take responsibility. Of the babies? Yeah. If you need to tip. If you need to talk about it, I'm here for you. Joseph stares deeply into the blender filled with ice and margarita mix. It's just, I think about Margaritaville a lot. Or I guess the concept of it. A place where I could strum on my six string strum on my six string while I wait for the shrimp to boil, drink margaritas all the time. Forget my worries. It's an easy life. I had Margaritaville once. But I think the closest I'm ever gonna get back to it is the Margarita Zone. A short and occasional reprieve from my daily life. Is that such a bad thing? This is pretty nice. It doesn't last forever. That's the rub. When you're in Margarita Zone, it's not like your problems have really gone away. You're just choosing to ignore them. Maybe you're looking at it the wrong way. Maybe Margarita Zone is actually better than Margaritaville, because Margaritaville itself is an impossible ideal. So, I feel like it's- Wait, oh, wait, rem finish what he's saying, because I feel like it's gonna- Remember what Spin Master Quinn said? Sometimes you have to play the sad tunes to appreciate the bangers. If stepping on a pop top is your biggest concern, how could you possibly appreciate the boiling shrimp? Mm. Hmm. So that's not what I was going to say. What were you going to say? I was going to say that I feel like it's okay to give yourself, like, 
an hour to be like, I'm going to ignore all my problems and pretend they don't exist. Yeah. And I'll deal with it after that, you know? Mm-hmm. To, like, take, like, a full break for yourself. And Margarita Zone isn't landlocked to this office. I think it's about finding the little pieces of Margarita Zone throughout your day and taking joy in those moments. Hmm. That's awfully optimistic of you. It doesn't have to be anything big. For me, I think it's about being able to quietly do word jumbles and drink some strong coffee in the morning to see my daughter smile or... Smile at Joseph. To spend some quality time with a good friend. Yeah? Yeah. I can feel myself leaning closer to Joseph. Is it just me, or is he leaning closer too? Oh my god. Joseph tenses up. He downs the rest of his margarita and hops out of his chair. It's getting late. We should head back. Yeah, sure. Joseph and I make sure the dance wraps up without incident before he takes me back to the cul-de-sac. I hop out of Joseph's car before he pulls into his own driveway. Thanks again for the help. Thanks again for Margarita's own. Maybe we'll go back there one day. If we do, it'll be my own damn fault. Uh, <laughs> Joseph chuckles and drives away. <sighs> I walk into my living room to find Amanda curled up under a blanket and groaning on the couch. So there were actually a ton of Jimmy Buffett puns and like quotes in there that only I... dads would know. You can't expect us to know Jimmy Buffett quotes. Those are that's a dad my, it's genre my own only. Damn fall. Do, 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 do. My mom loved Jimmy Buffett. Your mom's a bee. Yeah. So she doesn't deserve to be in this let's play. <laughs> hey Panda, you feeling okay? Oh. Dad, I have a tummy ache. Eat too much youth group food? Oh. I drank too deeply from the well of life, and now I pay the price. <sighs> and by well of life, I mean big lukewarm punch bowl of seltzer juice and sherbet. Ew. Amanda slides to the floor with an elongated groan. She had too much sugar. Need anything, kiddo? A time machine that goes back approximately two hours in the past so that I can warn myself of the folly of excess. I'll pour you a glass of water. Love you, Pops. How'd the dance go? Oh, I crushed it. Got the kids on the dance floor at the expense of my dignity. A fair trade. Also, everything hurts. I'll see you in the morning, kiddo. Night, Dad. Don't Don't skip skip the corners. Date complete. Wow, we have 86 million dad I, points. I don't know, like, do these numbers actually mean anything, or do they... I feel like they just put random shit. Oh, no, Stacy, Relax, dad, is very important stat. 